What you're about to see is a real mobile game ad. What are you doing back there? Pull me out! I have no idea how this is allowed, but I promise you it's real. I got it myself while playing this arrow game that I talked about in a previous video. Speaking of that previous video, over a week ago I took a look at some awful mobile games, and today I want to do the exact same thing. I'll be showing you the real gameplay for this lovely game and all questions will be answered. And trust me when I say you will want to stick around for that because this is one of the funniest, stupidest, most confusing yet compelling video games I have ever played. But before we get into that, I left y'all on a cliffhanger in the last video. We took a look at this game called Move People. In that game, there was a story mode that I never finished, and a lot of people really wanted to see the ending for some reason, so I decided to play through the rest. I had no idea, but I was actually very close to beating this game. If you missed that video, I recommend you watch it and then come back to this video after. The link will be in the description. But if you just want a bit of context, this is a game where you move around bodies to complete certain tasks. And it was not at all made as a fetish game. Where did you get that idea? The story so far is boy meets girl, they get coffee, go on a ferris wheel, twerk in a club, walk home together where they have their first kiss, then he proposes and they have their wedding. The next chapter was them on their honeymoon, but I hadn't played that part yet. There were also a ton of ads in between each level, with very little gameplay in between. At the end, I divided my footage into three sections, gameplay, cutscene slash me messing around, and ads. As it turns out, 9% of my recording was gameplay, 19% was cutscenes and me messing around, while 72% was all advertisements. I'll be doing that for the rest of the story mode so we can see the total for the entire game. So I set up the beach for their honeymoon one step at a time. And by step, I mean clicking this button to spend gems and then watching an ad to get more gems. Real quick, I want to point out almost all of my advertisements during this play session for whatever reason was the exact same advertisement for Big O Live. I don't know why there weren't many different types of ads here is just how it goes, I guess. And after watching all of the ads, I don't even really know what Big O Live is. Maybe one day we'll check it out, but from the looks of it, it's a live streaming service but only attractive women use it. So a few clicks and a few big ol' lives later, we're walking on a beach to go see the sunset. We lay down, I hump the ground for good measure, and that's it. It's now time to build our home. Four big ol' lives later, we walk to the door which we have to help open. We do that, they then perform a synchronized dance to celebrate their unfurnished home. We then walk the girl to the center of the room, then boom, it's now fully furnished. And of course she has to dance to celebrate. Now the big Baby is coming. Hey, uh... I can't help but notice that you missed the interactive baby making scene. Uh, what's up with that? And instead of waiting nine months for the baby to be born, we only have to wait for three more beagle lives. And then she just falls to the ground, but don't worry because paramedics are on the scene. One paramedic says, gentle please, and I have no idea who he's talking to. Like, isn't he supposed to be the gentle one? But it doesn't really matter because we need to get this girl on the gurney ASAP. But instead of doing that, I launched her off of the screen and she just kind of fell into infinity. And it seems like the developer Developers knew this could happen because after a bit the continue button appeared. So I press it to move on and now we need to move to the ambulance. But of course I don't do that and instead I decide to clip through the husband and all this other stuff before walking into the void. Eventually I couldn't tell if I was still moving or not so I just hit continue and... I guess we did it. Five years later, we now have to build a playground. We had to sit through four ads and somehow none of them were Beagle Live? I want my girls back. Anyway, the playground is built. We sit down to swing and I guess one of the kids running around is ours? But we don't know which kid or if any kid is actually ours. We're given no context and we just have to continue the story. Three more ads and no Beagle Live. What the hell? So we're walking our daughter to school and we have to hold her hands to help her jump over the puddle. So naturally, I dunk her in, but somehow the game registered that as us jumping. I also love how instead of the kid raising her arms, the couple awkwardly bends down to hold her hand. Anyway, that's actually the entire story. The next screen is them dancing in front of their house with a promise of more episodes coming soon. I promise I will keep this game installed and as soon as there's more, I'll fill y'all in. So the moment of truth, what's the gameplay to advertisement ratio? I recorded this game for 16 minutes and 48 seconds. Only five minutes 
minutes and 52 seconds of that was gameplay. Meaning that I had to watch 10 minutes and 56 seconds of advertisements. And if we remove the cutscenes and all of me messing around from the gameplay portion, we are left with 1 minute and 43 seconds of actual gameplay, with 4 minutes and 8 seconds of cutscenes and me messing around. Which brings the grand total of this entire story mode to 3 minutes and 35 seconds of gameplay, 8 minutes and 6 seconds of cutscenes slash me messing around, and 25 minutes and 39 seconds of nothing but advertisements. Can you even call this a video game at this point? This is basically one giant interactive ad when you think about it. Alright, I hope everybody is happy that we finally saw the conclusion to this game. Now let's finally circle back and talk about the game where the girl was stuck in the washing machine. So as you can see, this picture pops up right after with Huggy Wuggy from Poppy Playtime spying on a girl in the shower. At this point, I'm thinking this might not be the wholesome game that I thought it was the whole time. It then cuts to whatever this is. Ew. I guess Eggplant was wrong? So it seems like this is an example of an advertisement being very misleading. Or is it? How about we just play the game and see what happens? The game's called Displace Master. It loads up and the first thing you need to do is make her feel good. So you do that by putting the head scratcher thing on her head and she makes an ahigo face. Now we have to help the girl with totally realistic jiggle physics go to the bathroom. So we put up the woman's sign and she just stands there and smiles instead of actually going in. Hey look, now it's the part from the advertisement we saw. We need to find out what she needs. It's cucumbers because she's having a spa day, I guess. After that, I get an ad where this couple is playing rock, paper, scissors. The guy wins twice in a row, and each time the girl removes more of her clothes. The download screen then pops up, and wait a second. It's the game from the ad we just saw. I thought we were playing it, but I guess not. The transition between the two ads was seamless as far as I could tell, and I am so used to ads having very misleading trailers that I didn't even question it. The real game is called Couple Life. Okay, I'll quickly wrap up Displaced Master, and then we'll take a look at Couple Life. You then bring the fruit to life, whatever that means, put pipes together, give the busty girl some jewelry, watch an epic ad, make her popular by turning her into the badass girl from Squid Games, put up traffic signs, make her yoga pose, make her lose weight, and then uninstall the game because you are sick of the needlessly sexual game that hardly even counts as a game because there is no real puzzle to it. You can drag items basically anywhere on the screen and then it'll solve itself. And if you get it wrong, you just try again with no consequence. Finally, we're moving on to the most epic game ever, a couple's life. You start off by choosing your lover. I chose the girl and then I was taken to the screen. I first noticed a bubble floating around the screen, so I pressed it and an ad popped up. When the ad was over, I earned 200 coins that I had no idea what they were used for because the game hadn't even started yet. But whatever, I guess they'll be useful later. This bubble will be floating somewhere on screen, I believe, the entire time, just so you know. And by the way, just so you know, there's no audio in the game for for some reason. I'm not sure if this was a glitch or what, but no matter how many times I restarted the game, no audio. We tap to start and we're on Tinder, despite the fact that we just picked our lover. You can swipe left for no and right for yes, just like Tinder. There's a list of qualities you're looking for in a girl, but none of this matters. Because once your girl that you chose at the start pops up, you have to match with her. You don't have an option as you literally just can't swipe left on her. Anyway, level one complete. We're then shown a map with 42 levels. At the end is an 18 year old only sign. Okay, I see what's happening. We're going to be working our way through the entire relationship and the end will be the washing machine scene. I'll play the long game if you know what I mean. And let me tell you right now, if you enjoyed the move people storyline, oh my god, you're gonna love this one. <laughs> Couple's life is like way more over the top makes a lot less sense, but somehow it's a lot more compelling. Level 2 is us messaging the girl Elliot and you get to pick the replies. Hello. Hi, stranger. What do you want? Ooh, not a good sign. I don't know why she's immediately aggressive given the fact that she started the conversation herself. What do you want? Go out with you. Me too. Wanna go for dinner? Yes. Sounds good. Is it really that easy to get a date with a girl? God, what am I doing wrong? 
In the comments of the last video, a lot of you guys gave me a tip to play these mobile games on airplane mode so I don't get ads. So that's what I did here. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to have the gameplay to advertisement ratio that I know a lot of you guys love from the last video. But we got our first ad after the second level, so just assume that after every two levels is an advertisement. But on the bright side, I'll be able to keep as much as my sanity as possible. In level three, we're at a restaurant and I'm feeding Ilya whatever food she's thinking about. She eats everything in one bite with the best chewing animation that I have ever seen. Also, what kind of dinner is this? There's a burger, cake, turkey, pancakes, coffee, and wine? Whatever, I cannot complain. My date who ate an entire drumstick bone in one bite is happy and that's all I can ask for. After I feed her, she blows me a kiss and now it's time to talk to her. Everything was lovely tonight. Thanks for everything. Oh, no problem. It was my pleasure watching you eat an entire burger out of the palm of my hand in one bite. Flag and all. Okay, so here's where the game takes a very interesting turn. So she says, thanks for everything, and your options to reply with are, would you want to platform a YouTube channels with me? Or would you like to pretend to be a couple with me to produce videos on YouTube? <sighs> Where did this come from? I'm not sure why this guy is bringing this up as opposed to bringing up anything else. And if you didn't catch it from these options, English is clearly not the first language of whoever made this game. So I chose the bottom one as it's the weirder option and she says, Sounds great, I think we can work together. This is mind blowing, we're only on level 3 and this is already so weird. Level 4 has Elia in her underwear walking down a path where she has to make some choices on who she wants her boyfriend to be. I think? Again, we're given no context. I chose to pick the worst option every chance I could. I thought we were building characteristics of her boyfriend, but once you walk to a new one, the old one is out. Maybe these are her past boyfriends? I don't know. All we can do is speculate. At the end, we choose between true love or a billionaire. The game clearly makes the billionaire the more appealing option, so I chose true love. So we don't get the car at the end, but we do perform a synchronized dance. So... Uh, what's up with these games and synchronized dancing? In level 5, we are with some other guy. In other words, that entire last level was meaningless. We now have to choose which Amazon package we get. I chose the smaller one for myself. In that box was a wad of cash. She got a box in a box in a box in a box in a box and then a turd. You're happy, she's grossed out, and now we're uploading this to YouTube? Given how the guy from level 4 was irrelevant, I just figured that you YouTube thing would be thrown out as well. But no, it seems like there's actually some kind of continuity to the story. So the video uploads, it gets 200 likes and some comments. Ape NFT guy says, amazing. This guy says, let's have some fun. Okay, whatever that means. I'll try this later. You sure? So cool. If you say so, did you even watch the video? LOL. And my favorite comment. Can I have your number? What the hell is this? Who the hell comments this on a video? In level six, we organize these bottles by color, but none of them need to be matching the backgrounds, which is kind of triggering. That's it. In level seven, you need to press down on your in-game phone so you can scroll through Instagram and look at other women. However, be sure to take your finger off when your girlfriend is looking and be alert because her head rotates like a fan. Level eight has you playing the world's easiest I spy. In level nine, a baby shows up on your front door in the middle of winter in a cardboard box. On all accounts, that baby should be dead. You then have to watch an ad to adopt him. I don't know how I got this ad with air airplane mode on, but I did. And now I am really horny. Oh, this game's called Legend City? That is too cool. So now we have to give the baby new cloth. We get to choose the cloth the baby wears. My favorite cloth is the mom plus dad equals me onesie because it's just not true. Your mommy and daddy found you in a box. They did not make you. But you have to watch an ad to get that cloth, so I settled for the star and moons onesie. You can then choose the hair. It's between whatever the hell this haircut is supposed to be a bucket hat or a bowl cut. I went with the bowl cut because it looks just like my boy Josh and I've always wanted to be Josh's daddy. You can then give him a toy. It's either a chocolate bar, a floating cookie, or Huggy Wuggy. I'm convinced Huggy Wuggy is only here so they could justify putting him in the ad. Anyway, I chose the floating cookie. And it turns out that was a YouTube video. This time we only got 99 likes for some reason. Probably because we didn't watch the ads for the other stuff. And all the same commenters are back. Good job! 
Bob. I'll buy it later. What are you gonna buy later? The baby? They're apparently free, so it shouldn't cost you too much. A nice suit. Oh, you mean the cloth? Interesting. OMG. Can I have a lovely baby? I got no idea what this means, but the legend strikes again. Now we move on to level 10, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys. When I was playing this game, I had no idea what was happening. Attention, no love pick. So I guess these girls were sending him nudes. I mean love pics. And you had to cancel it before they sent. But I didn't understand what was happening, so I failed. I could retry by watching an ad or just move on, so I moved on. If you thought this story didn't make much sense before, get ready for even more confusion. So we're video chatting with Elia, and she asks, do you have a child? Actually, he was adopted by me. Or, yes, when I was 16. Lie. I chose the lie. Stop kidding. His age is obviously wrong, and that's the level for you. So we don't ever get more context on this, and we have to come to our own conclusions. It seems like the adoption line was the truth, so I'm guessing that in this world when you adopt a baby, they deliver it like an Amazon package, or Amazon package, and that's what he did. <laughs> I think he adopted the baby just for YouTube content in the same way that he asked out Elia just for YouTube content. And I think Elia found out about his new baby from the new video that he posted. Essentially, the guy character is the world's most toxic family vlogger. In the next level, Elia sends you a text. Can you find some differences? Here you just have to find three differences and it's extremely easy. Now they're in bed together facing opposite directions. Probably because the guy just adopted a son then lied about it. Here you need to drag and match the objects. This part is kind of sexist like, obviously man likes basketball and woman loves diamond ring and shoe. But then it's donut which was not obvious to me. I tried to give it to the guy but he seems to not like donuts. But the video game controller, oh that's an obvious one. Girls can't be gamers. Now let's go play some COD, eat Doritos and drink Mountain Dew like all men do. Now Elia is in Squid Games? <laughs> this is one of those games where you have to keep your eye on a certain card. I purposely got it wrong and Elia got hit on the head with a hundred ton hammer and fucking died. I didn't retry and I guess this one was another video. We get a lot of repeat comments and don't worry this legend hasn't given up yet despite her being fucking dead. Okay so I lied about her dying and now we're having coffee with her. The guy says, would you like to live with me? Period. Or, I need a new roommate, would you like to be? I chose the latter and she needs to think about it. Come on, it will be more convenient for us to produce videos. Or, please, it also makes us look more like a real couple. I chose the bottom one and she says, okay, but we need to make roommate rules. We go on to the next level and we can upgrade our house. And so far, this has been the one time I've been able to spend money from that ad I got at the very beginning of the game. This house building section is basically another entire mode of the game that you can just absolutely ignore. In level 14, we have to match the plants so they can grow and achieve the dream that all plants have, which is clipping through a shelf. Now it's time to decorate your house. This is just like the boyfriend level from earlier. I mostly went with the worst option again, but this time we can see Elia reacting to our choices. And at the end, we get to see our choices in the bedroom. Time for more cloth for the baby. However, I didn't end up dressing him because everything cost coins and I wasn't about to watch an ad for more coins. Coins. But after that level, I was somehow given free coins despite not doing anything to earn them. Level 17 is a memory game and now we're shopping with Elia. Do you need so many clothes? There is never too much clothes for fashion boys. Or, these clothes are not much at all. I picked the top one. That's right, handsome men do need more clothes. And that's the level. <sighs> What is this game? Level 18 has you rotating a cake, and you need to tap the screen when the knife aligns with the dots. Or when you get close enough anyway. At the end, a piece is cut out that just doesn't align with the lines, making it very triggering. We're now rolling dice, and at first I had no idea what was happening. But upon reviewing the footage, she kept getting higher numbers than me with her dice rolls, so she kept putting on more clothes. I'm guessing that I was supposed to keep playing until I won the rolls, and then she would take her clothes off the more I win? Just like in the ad where they were playing rock, paper, scissors. In level 20, we're taking pictures of Elia as she runs, stretches, and does whatever the fuck this is. The pictures are automatically taken when you focus on her butt. In level 21, we just have to match shoes. In level 22, we have to draw on her face as she sleeps. And would you look at that, this is another YouTube video. I found out that if you watch an ad, you can upload these on other platforms too. So that's what I did. I got another Legend City ad and it was so cool. And since we're now uploading these videos 
dollars to TikTok, we're getting more likes. But likes don't seem to mean literally anything in this game. Um, unlike in real life, likes mean a lot to me. Please like the video. And we're getting the same repetitive comments. So she's pissed, but we completed the level. And by the way, we're over halfway to the washing machine scene. Level 23 says tap to start. So I start tapping and didn't stop until I realized I failed. I am not at all sure of what I was supposed to do. Moving on, we now get a sexy shot of her low quality chest. Then we have to ask either, are you chatting with another guy? Or are you watching the episode at 3 a.m.? I clicked on the 3 a.m. one and this is what happens. That's right, she fucking dies. Again. This is the part where I really need to ask, what is their relationship? It did start off real until we asked her if she wants to be his fake YouTube girlfriend. She says yes, he adopts a baby and doesn't tell her, then proceeds to lie to her about it. But meanwhile, we can see her getting jealous when he looks at other girls and they're obviously sleeping together. My guess is that the guy wants to be a fake YouTube couple, but Elia wants something a little bit more. But despite this, he is getting jealous at her talking to other guys. So in other words, they're just as toxic as every other family vlogger in the entire space of YouTube. Back to the game. In level 25, we need to pull the pin so the two can get together and smooch. Then it's time for more cloth for baby. I didn't get him anything because it all costs money. Now we have to scan around looking for invisible stuff that Elia hid, I think? Now she has a stomach ache and needs to fart. And the kicker is you need to watch an ad to help her fart as if this is some kind of reward. And there was no question. I watched that ad as fast as I could. After after the ad, we get a very provocative angle. We then have to move her body around and then tap until she farts and the guy vomits. Best part of the game so far. Also, is this a different guy from the last time we saw the guy? Or did he just dye his hair for some reason? Then there's another easy game of I Spy. Is there now another guy or has he dyed his hair again? Also, I think we're now playing as Elia for some reason. You have to say either, I'm going to the beach today, you want to join? Or do you want to travel to the beach with me? And if you couldn't tell, they're the same question. The guy says, of course. I can show you my new bikini, or we can sunbathe together. I pick the bikini one and he's looking forward to it. Now I bet you're thinking that we're going to the beach, right? I mean, maybe? I have no idea what's happening here. Wow, I really colored that in and did not miss a single spot. Back to squid games, I guess. We have to cut the shape out of the honeycomb, and you just can't mess this up even if you wanted to. So when you complete your honeycomb, Comb, you find out that the other guy messed up. Instead of cutting his shape out, he managed to get rid of every other part of the honeycomb aside from the part you're supposed to pick at. That is actually way more impressive. Anyway, that was a YouTube video and everyone loved it. Level 32 has us putting dishes away. Level 33 is more bottle sorting. Level 34 is more cloth for the baby. I could only afford the broken cowboy hat, so that's what I went with. Turns out that was another video and people hated it for some reason. Don't like it anymore. So ugly. Guys, this is a baby we're talking about. Calm down. Do you all really hate him because he's wearing just a cowboy hat? Moving on, Elia asks us to spot the difference again. In the next level, the guy who dyed his hair again is asking, so who is that man? Given the hair color, I think that's the man who helped Elia fart. So maybe this isn't the same guy dyeing his hair, but they're actually all different people. So you can say, obviously it's my ex-boyfriend or I don't want to talk about him. That's the one I chose. And so he says, forget him. There will be a better man by your side in the future. By the sounds of it, he's not talking about himself. Is he like, okay with her seeing another guy as long as the guy isn't the fart guy. We now do more sexist matching. Girl like lipstick, boy like ninja, girl like 18 only in shopping, boy like hammer and wrench. I'm more of a pliers guy myself, but I can respect it. Next level has us dragging her face around to match the emojis, which is another video that people love. Brace yourselves for the next level. I'm not sure which of the guy is in this situation, but somebody has proposed to Elia. You have to say either, you know how I feel about you, I have fallen in love with you, or I really love you and want you to be my wife. I picked the top one and she says, okay, but why are you getting down on one knee? Will you marry me? Or would you like to share the rest of life with me? I picked the more vague option and she says, yes, I do. I'm assuming the guy proposing is the same guy who started dating her for the views. And I'm assuming he's only proposing to her for the views as well. Next, we decorate our house again. We're designing the bedroom 
again. I'm glad to know the last time we did this was irrelevant. In level 39, we swipe to clean. Level 40 has us matching more plants that grow into shelves. Oh my god, we are now one level away from the washing machine cutscene. I have never been more excited in my life. Just don't tell my baby that I got from a cardboard box that, okay? We're now back in Squid Games. The two take turns rolling dice. For whatever number you get, you can pop that many bubbles. I popped them all first, which was very unfair since I went first. But whatever, I won two new iPhones. This was also a video. All right, we've done it 42 levels. Now where's that cutscene? Wait. What is this? There's 82 levels in total, and every level is a repeat of the levels that we just saw as if it never happened. I sat through the most toxic love story ever that didn't even really make sense, just to not even see the washing machine scene? Are you kidding me? I have never been more disappointed in my life. I guess it's BS what they say where hard work always pays off, huh? I played for almost 30 minutes and I have nothing to show for it. But I wasn't about to give up, no, not me. Like the little simp I am, I played through every single level again. These levels were a bit different, but they had the same gimmick. Think of this as the new game plus. I also chose different options every time I could, and would you believe it, nothing changes. I also made sure each video that the couple posted was on every social media possible, and I made sure to play every single game correctly. I wanted to do everything I could to make sure I was not messing up any potential ending. This time, after the last Squid Game segment, you're on a video call with Elia. She says, I'm sorry, I still can't forget him. You say, how could you do that to me? Or, you're going too far. I pick the top one and she says, he suits me better than you. And then it brings you to the start of the map again, but this time the numbers have not changed and now all of the levels are actual repeats. Which means I wasted about an hour of my time looking for a cutscene that was advertised, but was never actually in the game. Not to mention the rock, paper, scissors portion was never in the game either, which is even more odd because this isn't any weirder than the other stuff we saw in the game. So what's the moral of the story? It does not pay to be a simp for a mobile game that you knew had false advertising from the beginning. To be completely honest, the result is exactly what I expected, but I am still disappointed. If you want even more- you want some more? If you want even more awful mobile games, let me know in the comments below. And if there's a specific awful mobile game that you want me to check out, let me know that as well. And subscribe so you don't miss the next upload. That's all I got. Thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a fantastic Tuesday.